say, I'll well, see you there. I just was planning to be somewhere out of sight, but. Do you think he knew we were on speakerphone? He probably did. <laughs> it's I mean, kind of obvious when you switch, yeah. yeah. And you switched from regular phone to speakerphone. So there's probably like an like a echoey kind of thing going on in the background like you get. I say we go check it out. Oh, these are so good. <laughs> uh oh, I poured too much again. Oh, He's gonna vomit on your carpet. I hope he doesn't throw up again. I could uh, accompany you in spirit in case things get heavy. What are you? <laughs> 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 I was just a man. Was, was but now me. I'm something else. <laughs> <laughs> Very informative. <laughs> 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 Astro Blaine, man, you like a ghost man? Yeah. That's the closest thing I can figure. So you're dead? Um. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. Last thing I remember was uh, meditating in Tibet before waking up in Charlotte 20 years later. Well, wait, 20 years later. I mean, I've heard of astral projection, but not astral time projection. <laughs> well, I did experience the 20 years painfully. But, uh, Are you in hell, man? Yeah, I thought it was. But uh, I must have just been in the center of the earth or some shit. Oh, or some, some shit. shit. Or some shit. <laughs> but in any case, I can freely jump from body to astral plane. Uh, at the office? Downstairs? Sure. Well, I'm going to leave. I want, I want Jose right. to uh, look up antimatter and we'll leave the rifle. Yeah, he can find anything that's online, basically. Okay. Uh, there's a few other places he can look. He's uh, not. I mean, in some ways, yes. But we're even though the first, I can't even get my key and Jose. Two key. Jose, that's the same. All right, I'm going to tell Jose, if you touch the trigger, everything in here will disintegrate. No, I don't want to touch him, man. This okay. is it, UFO stuff. Right, I'm trusting you. Once you touch him, they get your DNA, man. Fuck! <laughs> then they imprint on you. <laughs> There's probably like filaments all under yeah. your hands. I yeah. think the rifle was safe. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave it with here while he. Put it, on, put it on top of the fridge. Okay. <laughs> and don't drink that thing inside that says "Don't drink this." That's <laughs> arc lights crap. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust <laughs> you him you to look up yeah. and research anti and, yeah. yeah. and I'm going with, I'm gonna go with That's Vanguard. Gross. Why would you? Do I'm looking at what <laughs> color is the "Don't drink this." <laughs> Check out the fridge. I, I, you think, I know what it was, but then I never saw you put it in the fridge. Uh, it's a bottle about the size of one of those little Coke bottles. Full of some kind of glowing liquid. And that has been put into like a plastic bag. And on the outside of the plastic bag has been written, I believe, Arc Lights stuff. Don't drink. Um, Don't drink will kill. Yeah, something like that. Don't drink. Arc Light, why did you put this in my fridge? <laughs> it looks like Jose's handwriting. Right. Um, Did like somebody open the fridge? Greenish blue. Did somebody open the fridge? Is that new mountain? Is, some, is somebody <laughs> like new <laughs> fridge right now? <laughs> yeah, uh, Tara went over and looked. Don't drink that! <laughs> Tara was curious. When he went and took the gun, she walked over and opened the fridge up. She peeked inside and she was looking for a snack. Don't drink that! Did you reach I'm not drinking anything. anything. Good. No, no, we were making a joke about the new mountain viewers. Yeah, it's that <laughs> new mountain dew. <laughs> And you saw this when you got back. When you were Heart like glow. I'm not sure what it is. It's an unlike marked bottle. So, yeah. you two know about it. I'm trying to roll all six of these to get a different number on each one. So, what are you guys doing? Yeah, I got a four, three, one, well, I guess one I'm and a six. I did, uh, if this one was going with you, if you don't mind. Uh, sure, come here. Are you going to try to get the highest number? Oops. I don't know. 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 Go scout ahead if you don't mind. Let me go inside the burger joint. If you yeah. get one, you and bring it out. Buy a burger so that way I can have been inside it so I can TP in there. All right. Gotcha. Now that I'm with the force, right. yeah. Uh, I I hate to slow down everything, but um, what like kind of things do I get? Is there like a PR thing yeah, that I gotta worry about or a PR thing? Like, um, I'm not sure about relations stuff. 
Well, no, no, PR. Because I represent the company, I guess, maybe? No, 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 no. You don't represent Force. Oh, okay. Good. Or you just register with Force. But, that but would I don't have to worry about the media and stuff like that. What do you mean, worry about the media? Like, because they can't say that I'm a bad guy if I'm with Force, unless I'm doing wildly <laughs> terrible things. Right, no, you shouldn't have to worry about just appearing in public. Yeah. Um, if you want, Force can put you, put you on, like, the front of their, like, main web page. To say this is our newest member, this is what she go, this is her code name, blah blah blah. Yeah. And then that will be it's not great advertising, but at least it can get yeah. out there in the police databases. The police usually check for a database that they're allowed to check and that kind of thing. So it will help you so we speed knows in probably Charlotte. Now not everybody's gonna see it, but Yeah, no, no, as long as the police yeah. <laughs> But right now you've got before that you had no kind of any kind of face, so um, it also gives you access to FBI and Interpol files. Um, then there's the message board, computer message board, essentially. Um, I think I'm going to be relaxing on a rooftop just watching the clouds. Hey. What? What? For this meeting thing? Yeah. Are you nearby the place? Uh, yeah, like okay, okay. three blocks away. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, the force also sponsors briefings by local police and national law enforcement uh, agencies. There's a deputy program. Um, it's easier to get deputized by local police departments if you're a member of the force. They're more likely to be like, okay, you're working for us for now. Hmm? And then you're a deputy. Oh, yeah. So it gives you a little, little bit more like power. Yeah. Um, there's a business when you get done, like, we'll block that. Okay, so who's riding with Vanguard? You're going early. You've gone, yeah. come back, and you're done. Well, yeah, I'm going to go to the business park here. Bye. Mm -hmm. Wait, that doesn't help because then I can't. Continue. Okay, you figure it out. Yeah. Who's riding with Vanguard? I'll ride. Just drop me off like a block from the very joint, and then I'll accompany you. Okay. I'm, pretty heavy. I'm just gonna fly behind him. Okay, something. you're gonna ride with. I'm him. riding with him. Right. Tara, are you riding? With him? No, no, I'm just you should hanging fly, out there. Fly over him. nearby and hide. Okay, yeah, yeah. we'll hide. Whatever. Okay. Actually, um, I'll just like stay in there eating. Yeah, you can do that. And uh, Edward's uh, sleeping. I'll just say, put something on the beeper if you need me. And I have my costume on the roof. No. Actually, I'll teleport to the roof and take off my outer thing with my costume. You at least heard me so much, right? Yeah. Go back. Can, I, can I go down the stairs and try, try to find Edward first? Yeah, if you want. You've got, you've got still like, you talked about it for like 10 minutes. So you still got like 50 minutes. Yeah. Driving across town will take more than 20. 20. Um, oh, yeah. From where you guys are. What side of town is it on? Is this burger joint that you're thinking about? Um, do you remember? Stick that out. Skirts. Of Central, uh, Charlotte. like heading towards like all the uh, business offices and all that stuff. Okay, it won't be too far because you're pretty essentially located right. in your part of the city center. Okay. So it's only a 15 minute, like 10 or 15 minute drive, and that's counting for traffic. Oh, I'd you easily fly get there. there like five yeah, I'd easily get there. So um, you can fly down. You know where Edward's closest sewer entrance is. Yeah. Um, you go in there and you find. Uh, Wait, do you know where Edward's niche is? Yeah, I've been there a couple Have times. Have you been there? Yeah. Okay. I know somebody had been there, but I couldn't remember who. I remember I went there one time because like, I was looking for a place to stay, and I was considering this place. <laughs> okay. Good. So, yeah, you can find Edward's niche. Um, there's snoring coming from inside. I don't snore. <laughs> he doesn't um, think he does. I know. <laughs> I just don't snore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there's no snoring the coming from inside. Too. Um, Edward, you can make a listen check to see if you wake up when somebody enters your... Danger sense. Or yeah, you can do... No, it's not, he's not in danger. Doug is with me. Yeah, Doug will go. I got a roll of 30. Out of... What's your listen? Should be one of the skills, I think. Oh, 80, so yeah. Okay, you wake up, somebody's outside. That's high. Uh, somebody's outside of your niche. You know, there's a little tunnel that you crawl into and it opens into kind of a larger room. You've set up however you want. Okay. Um, with stuff from the sewers, most of the stuff that you found. Okay. And outside you hear, is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. All right, I'm on edge, so okay. I'll get my gun. <laughs> okay. Holy it's shit. It's right there. It lays right next to you when you sleep. Okay. It's really dark. Let me see if I can light this up. <laughs> and I light myself up. Okay. Uh, light's coming in. You recognize Arclight's voice. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I aim the gun. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be hard to miss at this range. What are you doing? What are you doing here? Fire and pull. Did you not get our beeps? Oh, we woke him up. 
No, I saw him. Are you, are you, are you coming? Is it the burger code? Edward! Hey, Edward! Edward! Hey, Thank Edward. you! That's it? what it is! It's me, the Edward! Burger it's me! Hey, Doug! Hey! Hey! Yeah, it's a really good <laughs> cool place. It's really popular. Burger Co. Yeah, we can really use your help. Yeah, the yeah. Burger Co. Oh, Burger We're dealing with some shady That's what it's called. individual. We might need your help. Uh, all right. Um, no media this time. Don't tell people that there's a crocodile. I, I, can't, I can't control where the media is. You said there was a crocodile. The Burger They yeah. saw you. That's like yeah. right next to your apartment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not a 15 minute drive. It's oh. like you can walk there. Okay. So we're supposed to all walk there. Yeah, I mean, the was right near. That was where. Until they see you. Neither one's here. Um, you're going to be known as the crocodile, man. For all they know, you're just a man. Tabitha and. Um, Caitlin. Yeah. We're having lunch in that building. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Okay. Yeah, I've been there. <sighs> so you coming with us, man? Yeah. All right. Well, we got to fly there, so I guess you're gonna have actually. To you, you don't. It's not far from here. It's not at all. far. I mean, I'll literally, the Burger Co. is like a five less than a five minute walk from where he lives. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him we gotta fly. You guys there. don't have to. Okay, yeah. You tell me if you're wrong. You guys don't have to even drive. Right. You can just walk. Yeah, we'll just walk. So, uh, you want to hop on my back and get ready to go? Sure, man. <laughs> okay, well, we got to drop Doug back off at Jose's. Why'd you bring him then? <laughs> we wanted to see you. <laughs> hey, I wanted to see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Unless you you want to hang out here in the sewers with your sewer friends today, or go back to Jose's with Odie's. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm out here. I'm going to meet, meet Edward's friends. Okay, well, let everybody know you're a superhero now. I will. All right, I'll I'm in my secret event. I'll be back to get you. Some, I'm just plain old Doug the Pug, not Doug the Pug. I should probably <laughs> take your cape off then. No, he wasn't wearing it. Okay. He didn't, this <laughs> didn't feel like he didn't think this was a superhero thing. So okay. All right. His outfit is that I would wear it under my clothes, but I don't wear any clothes. So. Okay. Well, I'll be it's back. In Jose's. I'll be back to get you in a couple of days or something. <laughs> a couple of days. Well, I don't know how long this. I know where I live. Time. I can find my way back. Okay. Well, remember, he knows the apartment. Look both ways when you cross the street. Well, I always do. You don't. He always does. <laughs> he always does. He thinks he's here. Okay. I'll be my own. What if he wants to play? I don't oh, think he's here. Like, you're a point. You're home. Okay, he hangs his head. He says he promises he will look both ways. Okay. I'll be back. <clears throat> okay. With food. I like food. Okay. Yeah. And you guys take off. Okay. And it's not far. Actually, it's not very far to the Burger Co. When we fly, do you ride on my back or do I like carry you under my arm? Ride right on your back. Man. All right. That's what he prefers. You've well, done it the other way before. You ain't got like. Then you just like carried you like a baby or something like that. You're in a nearby building. Oh, was um, that unconscious? Mm -hmm. oh. We just grabbed you at one point because something was happening. It was like, Poof, and it took oh. you away. Oh yeah, it gives me a point to shoot. I'm your group. <laughs> I am Arkley. Yeah, there's some there's some uh, there's some buildings not too far down the road. Um, this is on Freedom Drive. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what you said. So um, you could get on one of those buildings and just hang out. You could hang on the top that of this apartment building right? hang on. <laughs> and just sit on top of that. It's like a two-story apartment building on a so slight like rise, so it's taller than Vertigo. I don't think I'll be. And then there's like a lip on either side, and air conditioner up there. Yeah, um, so you can just hang out up there if you want. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, might as well. I'm just going to get a single one. Lounging. Oh, oh what this used to be more than anything is that like, you well, rarely have the 20 left last. And I don't need that. Anyway, so you guys could walk. Sunbathing? Yeah, sunbathing. <laughs> you guys could walk over to Road Co. You were just there having food. You're with them. Uh, you guys walk in. Do you want to get there early? Do you want to get there exactly an hour later? What's the call? <laughs> Five minutes early. Okay. Um, oh, my bad. I say to Tinker, like, hey, no um, chill over. Over there at one of the tables. And, uh, He's got his mask And also, on. I told you that I have my. <laughs> okay. yeah, or I, I guess I'll take it on and like, put, put, there, like, put my coat on. <laughs> okay, so you go and get. You order some lunch. You have lunch. Sure, I'll order okay. something. So you order some lunch. Uh, Burger Co. is actually not a fast food place, right? It's no, it's not. Place. Right. So waitress comes and gets your order. Blah blah blah. Waitress just come and gotten your order. Our so plate shows up in full costume, right? Yeah, but like I'm on like a top of a building because I thought we were like. Oh, okay. Trying to be seen. All right. Okay, so you could pick another building that's not too far away. Yeah, I agree. So I can actually. Here we go. Let's just do this. Right yeah. I guess, like, <laughs> what range do you have on your gun? Uh, 30 meters. 30 meters. Oh, yeah, and as as James pointed out, that's flexible. 
You can get more range by lowering the damage. Another 30 meters for every D6 that you take off of damage. Nah, I want to do as much damage. As That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> is there a building? What I'm saying is if you fire at somebody who is out of range, it's not just the beam doesn't just fade. It'll keep going, and then if it does hit him, yes. it's going to do less damage. I, I missed that. Because the whole thing about the, the energy uh, projection was you get to decide when you do it, how it, how yeah, it, how it works. Is there a building 30 like meters away? Like me with concentrated in here's the um, Here's the here's the bird company right there. So wait, you have a shotgun? It actually is on the map. I can yeah. turn when I still have oh, on it. Yeah, yeah. there's the bird Burger company. Co. Here was the, where the bank Hi. was, the Los Fargo bank that you guys dealt with that first time. So yes. There's these buildings over here. <laughs> Back here in this area, not too far away, is actually the apartment building. They actually have the Burger Co. on a map. Nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. This was uh, maps from a bank job because it's the same exact area. Um, we just love that area of town. Yeah, we love that's that area. That's Morehead Street. Well, that's where you live. Edwin doesn't live very far away from there. You <laughs> live there now. You're downtown. Protean's there now. So Tinker, we haven't established where his apartment is exactly. He knows where you live to <laughs> choose a <laughs> place <laughs> right across the street. No, he chose the place. No, I chose oh, the place. Okay. It would have been cool if he had chose the place, though. Like, Let's move here. Door. It's a short walk for you, right? Come on. Come on. Come on. Open up your door here. Okay, so Tara's <laughs> lounging your bike. Tony, where are you? Oh, no. uh, he dropped me off. <laughs> You're right back or something. And I like sat his hands through like a newspaper or something, and then okay. I just floated and like followed. Okay. So your body's just sitting yeah. there holding them. Yeah. Yeah. You look like a statue. You're scared to travel you thirty like meters away. In the park. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it's not really a park. It's probably well, art in the park. Yeah. Probably across the street over here. Yeah. You'd probably go stand near the building or something. Maybe. Next to it. Uptown Cycles. Uptown Cycles. I think yeah. seven is the best I've ever had. Um, you're sitting at a booth or a table or whatever. Right. Uh, so nobody's there with you that because anybody would really quickly notice. Okay, yeah. Um, three men come in. Two of them are in black suits. They've got sunglasses on. The third one is in a blue suit. Uh, he's real thin, good looking guy. Nice. Uh, they look around. Um, you're not in costume. No. Okay. They look around. Um, their eyes pass right over you, and um, then they the waitress seats them at another table. Okay. God. Roll four. I'll look at this as well. And then they kind of keep an eye on the door. It's and They order some, some lunch. Yeah. Here's the guy in the blue suit. Seven. I'm guessing that might be Agent Smith. He seems to be in charge. Seven, yeah. You're not sure though, because you don't see the subtitle. Here's the, <laughs> there's the other guy, the legend, basically. I, actually I would recognize. Him. So wait, does the guy in the blue tie yeah, not have sunglasses? That's the guy who talked to you at that hotel up in Concord. Yeah. Does, does he not have sunglasses on? The guy in the blue tie. He took them off when he came in. Okay. okay. Actually, all three of them eventually uh, ended up taking off their sunglasses. And they boarded lunch, and they're sitting and they're watching the door. Okay. And you can make an observation check. Actually, anybody in the room can make an observation check. So, you guys, those people who are outside, saw a black SUV pull up and these three guys get out. It looks like the same kind of make um, as the ones that you guys dealt with before. Protean, you see this too, and you're inside too. Yeah, you can make an observation check. What were you saying? Uh, I did not, because I'm I'm literally lounging, not watching anything. <laughs> I'm just looking up just at, hanging out. at the, at the sky. Sky. next to you in case they call you. So he, <laughs> so he looks like a man in black? Who? You got with me. Yeah, you reckon? Um, it's a, it's yeah, you guys were outside watching the, the place. You recognize it. Like right you recognize Agent Smith. I don't want to go in there. Then. That's fine. But you've Why'd talked you to him before. <laughs> huh? Why don't you bring me? Uh, we're we're so on the outside of the building. Yeah, but I so see him. So I would have seen them come in, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, he's All right, so I'm, I'm right. aging no, you. They don't recognize you. I leave and come back in your costume, so they don't know what you look like. That's what I was speaking of. Yeah. That's what I paid you. Did you order lunch? Protect our own. No, I didn't order lunch. Okay, so you just have some water. Right. Let's let you go there. Of course. Yeah, so I, I guess yeah, I'll just walk out, walk around the corner. Yeah. Power up. Go ahead and come walking back in. See what they do. The, 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 the maitre d' lady, or what do they call the hostess, is kind of taking it back at somebody who walks in looking like you do. Right. And then uh, Agent Smith goes, he's with us. Yes. And then he waves you over yeah. very, very casually. Uh, and as you approach, he stands up, cool. and he offers you his hand. Okay. You shake, shake it. it. You shake his hand. He goes, just stand there. And he kind of walks around you. He's like looking you up and down. He's just very nice. Very nice indeed. 
And then he, uh, he sits down. Uh, they have a table, not a booth. So he sits down in a chair and he kind of gestures to the other chair for you to sit down. Okay. You know, so what's your name? Vanguard. The real one. <laughs> oh boy. The real one? I don't know. Your real secret thing. identity. Feel inclined to give you that. Oh, yeah. uh, that's fine. So, Vanguard it is. You know what you got there? I just know that it's some secret project called Kansas. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That belonged to us, you know. <laughs> and who is it us? It's classified. I'm not allowed to say. Sorry. The waitress comes out. Uh, can I get you something to eat or drink, sir? <laughs> to you. I'm good, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll bring you some water. And she quickly scurries away. <laughs> Yeah, what's interesting is if it belonged to you, the last person that, that I saw that the stuff belonged to, they got killed while trying to help them out of the car. So, yeah, did you ever think about that? I don't know if y'all are the good guys or the bad guys. Definitely the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You're definitely the good guys. Can I give Agent Smith girl points? Am <laughs> 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 I close enough to hear it? Um, if you want to be, yes. If not, you could probably cobble together a little thing that uh, allows you to hear them. Up to you. Is there a table where uh, I can see them? Um, um, make a luck you check. You probably see my shiny ass. There's a luck. Make a luck check. <laughs> you nice probably see, see, we'll see if they got a table near the window. Okay, yeah, they're sitting right, right by the, one of the front windows. Wow. Yeah, nice. you guys ate yeah. He says, um... Yeah. So, my agency, we developed a suit of technology that we, um from another source that we acquired 67 years ago, and then again, 22 years ago. And most of the, the tech came from the, the more recent acquisition. Uh, our agency scientists modified it pretty extensively. But you, you're messing with something you don't understand. And not even we understood everything that they could do. It's dangerous. And the people that my agency acquired the tech from are also very dangerous. Um, we were formed, my agency was formed to protect the United States from enemy incursions. And we've been doing it for the last 67 years. So, and we've been pretty successful. I'm not really interested in getting the suit back at this juncture. Because it would probably mean killing you. Yeah, I was about to say it's the only thing that's just suppressing my condition. Your condition? What's your condition? I have cancer. Ah, well that's not what I meant. The nanotech has connected itself to you now. I'm not sure if we could actually get it to deconnect without killing it. And we have no interest in harming an American citizen. You are an American citizen, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jose. It's ICE. It's we don't know. Oh boy. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so far as I know, you've broken no major laws, except, you know, property damage, but exotics. <laughs> the other two guys are like, yes. <laughs> exotics. Um, you recognize uh, one of the other two guys was one of the guys in, that met you on the road that night, too. Okay. Um, my agency was not formed to deal with exotics in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so I don't really have any interest in you particularly. However, you can help me. You got my car, right? Yes, I do. Right, right, right. Um, if you learn of any of the other powers of the suit, if you could let us know, we'd be interested in knowing what they are. As a matter of fact, what powers have you had that you've been using? So if you don't mind me asking. So far, all I have, most of my abilities is sonar, but I have been able to integrate with electronics and stuff like that. Oh, that worked. All right, that's excellent. Also, if you'd like to get rid of the suit, we could probably make every attempt to remove it from you. You like to get a normal life back. But that's up to you. You ever wonder about that car crash? Yeah. I have wondered about that. The car was crumpled like paper on a residential street, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You heard the crash, right? Yes, I did. Heard it from my apartment. Did you hear the car engine before you heard the crash? I don't think I heard the car engine. No, you didn't. I just heard the crash and I ran out of the seat. Yeah, was that crash like anything you've ever heard before? Not really. How did a car get so badly, badly damaged it was only going about 35 Same. miles an hour? You ever wonder about that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. 
Yeah, I think we'll, we'll take it to go back. The waitress said, come up and put down a little glass of water for you. And that's when he said that. She, okay, thanks. And she screws away again. She's obviously very nervous about some or something. Look, one more thing. We, we assume that the original owners of the technology are still looking for what fell into our hands. They're very dangerous and very powerful. And if you run afoul of them and you want some help, we can try to help you. You got my number. And kind of shrugged. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you wasn't built to, uh, or equipped to handle exotics, though. How are you going to help? They're not exotics. They're just all Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so you got my number. I do. And uh, yeah, good luck. Like I said, you might want to try to get rid of it. If you want to, let me know. And he stands up, and um, the waitress brings like a uh, like plastic bag with the styrofoam containers in it. Um, the couple of the other agents say, "Quick, finish your drinks as fast as they can." They were drinking Pepsi or something or tea. And uh, he gives you a nod, and then he heads for the front door. Okay. Uh, good old Southern agents. <laughs> they didn't sound Southern. They weren't Southern. Good day, <laughs> they sounded pretty. He sounded very neutral. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just saying. Tea. Yeah. Oh, oh well, yeah, one of them had tea. One of them had iced tea. tea. So. And you guys see them leave the building. Anybody outside watching? You watch this whole thing. You guys can overhear most of it. Um, and you or somebody. Yeah, I can tell me words I missed too. What? Where's the arm? He's here. He's always with me. Oh yeah, okay. okay. But he doesn't have super hero. But he's got, he's got night regular. Animal. Vision. Hearing. Right. Well, no, but he has regular. Isn't that how? They don't do sonar. No. That's bad. Gotcha. Anyway, so you're sitting at the table and the waitress kind of creeps up on you and Ken is like, you sure there's nothing I can get you for? Oh, no. No. Okay, okay, okay. She's young. She's probably 17 or 18 years old. She looks really nervous. And she kind of creeps away again. All right. Doing her job well. <laughs> Perhaps I guess it's what purpose. <laughs> you sure? I'm back again. No, I'm <laughs> so, so for the check. Instead of going no, outside, no, which just they might no. see I go into the restaurant. <coughs> okay. I go in the restaurant. What's it gonna do in there? Okay. I go into one of the stalls, power down, come back, and back out. And okay. Probably the lady freaks out. Like, wait, I saw the guy go in. Well, I mean, they recognize you maybe from you were in there earlier. Right. So they thought maybe you were just in the bathroom all the time. Right. You come out and take and do what? You just, well, well, I, 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 you're sitting with her. Yeah. Okay. I come yeah. down and sit wherever, and I'm like, and I wave him over. And I'm like, what are y'all guys doing? Didn't you go over to. Naughty. You see a kid run to the bathroom like a couple minutes after you come out, and then he comes back out after he's all sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk by the booth and say we should probably talk about this somewhere else, and all just right. continue walking outside. Okay. You can pay if you want. I guess I'm beeping. Yeah. What are you gonna send? Any of the guys left would have. You get a page two. It's a general page to everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get that page two. It's mental. I guess meet back at our apartment, we'll talk. Yeah, I'm gonna lie. You've integrated where you can actually build it up. Do it all. Yeah. I heard that meet at the apartment, so I'm gonna go retrieve my steel body okay. and meet in there. Is everybody heading back to the apartment? Yep. Okay. okay. Sure. Hi, Zach, but I'm You guys there. came in, it's pretty crowded for this many people. I teleport um, there. Okay. Right on the couch. Okay. Ah. Do I land on ducks? <laughs> no, he's not. Okay, good. Doug's not there. Let's get the hell out of Jose. Look at that! Oh! Don't do that! Good thing you don't walk around in your boxers, huh? Don't do that! No, no, I'm always fully dressed, man, in case I have to leave at split notice. <laughs> Shower with clothes? He's a never nude. They're not <laughs> there. There's dozens Jean shorts of them. <laughs> it's, not, it's not far away, man. Give me some warning. Give us a phone call or something.